Hello, today I'm going to show you how to edit your records with a jQuery UI dialog and Ajax. To exemplify what we're aiming to do, I've created this application that pretty much displays a list of cars. Uh, each car will have a name, a description, a picture, and an edit link. Now when I click the edit link, what happens is that a dialog comes up uh, with the form to sh to edit your record. There's a couple things here that are important to notice. All the client-side validation have been ported over. I am also using the, the, the dialogs buttons. Now to exemplify that it's actually working, I'm just gonna complete this and say Jake's we'll see that the changes will show up here and a message uh, will tell me that the update was complete. Now what is actually happening here is that I am dynamically loading a partial view into the dialog and then doing a little bit of wiring so all the, the UI validation remains in place. Now let's jump into the code to see how I have achieved this. Now what I have here is pretty much a standard internet application for MVC3. But I've added a couple things. I've added my car model, which has a, a few things and annotations for validation and whatnot. I've I've added a car repository that has a static list of cars and here as well you have your data access or you'll have it in a separate list of one in a separate library or whatnot. And then you have the car controller and we basically have an index which is where, where I display all, all the list and and then the edit view. And notice that it's a partial view. And the reason you want to do a partial view is because you don't want all the extra stuff a web page will, will bring you because you're you're actually loading this into a dialog. You don't want all the header and whatnot. So a partial view is just cleaner in that sense. All right, let's see on uh, the see there on the view. You'll notice that in my index, um, I have very little HTML, but uh, some quite a bit of JavaScript. Now, what is what I've done here is basically change it a little bit. I created some some a span so I can dynamically reference some of these items. But one important thing to note is that I've added a class into my action link. And this is so I can I can reference it with uh, jQuery. Now before we go into the jQuery, let's see the partial view. Now the partial view um as we saw it has um, it has the, fa the the image and then it asks for the name and the description. So let's see it again. So it has the image, the name, and the description. Notice that it has no buttons. Is because the buttons are part of the dialog. Now th here, notice that we're actually doing an AJAX form and we're targeting the action edit on the controller cars there we're not sending anything but there's a few ajax 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 options that we're 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 going to set up uh, the target id is where the response is going to be populated and i have an update message right here and then we're doing an http post and on success I'm gonna call my success uh, JavaScript this is my handler I'm gonna give it a name and this is so I can wire back in the validation after it gets dynamically loaded into the dialog so let's see what's gonna happen when when you actually submit this and we go into the controller and you'll see that the control will see if it's valid it will it will update and it will return a true string 
And this is basically saying that everything went okay. But if there was a problem, I want to say I'm going to return a content that is just going to say review your form. And in here you can make it uh, more elaborate. You can go uh, into the model states and see whatever you got. But uh, for now I'm just going to keep it simple. Now just to remind you, uh, either the true or the review your form are going to be updated into the update message uh, diff that I have here. I've made it um, invisible for the moment because we don't want them to see it. Alright, so we have our, our, our partial view uh, working and now we're going to see what was it on that index that it, why, what was all that JavaScript that I had on the index so that was about the partial view so let's go back to the index and see all the things that I had there in JavaScript so the first thing is that I like the buttons in jQuery UI so I'm making it a button but now let's talk about the dialog. We create a container for our dialog, and this is how you do it. It's simple, simply a div that you give a, an ID, and then here's a, how you make the dialog with jQuery UI. You say that that this particular this particular um, ID you're gonna make a dialog, and you give it some properties. I'm saying that it's model, and I'm saying it's going to have two buttons. It's going to have a, a cancel button. It's the simple one. It's just going to close the dialog. But the update button is going to do two things. It's going to clear the error message just in case there is an error message there. And then it's going to submit the form again. Alright, so that is actually made the dialog. But now we have to uh, wire the, the edit link with an event. So remember how I told you it was important to notice that I added a class and it's because uh, to every object with this class I'm going to add a click event and the click event does a few things. Uh, it creates a few references but here I'm getting what is the partial view URL. It's going to get the URL with a with an Ajax action, and then it's gonna set the HTML of the dialog with the data we receive. Now, the data we receive is basically this. Okay, so now I have inside this div, I have pretty much an Ajax form, but there is an issue the uh, UI validation doesn't get ported over automatically so what I actually have to do is identify the form inside uh, that is inside the dialog div and, and then I'm gonna unbind it and rebind it again and then I'm gonna open the dialog now this little piece of code here is the one that makes the validation happens happen on the dialog form. If you remove this, it just won't work. Now is, is probably a good time to mention that all this code is going to be available on the blog. Now, what I'm doing now is uh, opening the dialog. Okay, so, so now we've achieved this, basically. Um, now what happens when I submit the form and it's okay? Uh, if you remember what is going to happen is it's going to call the update success and here's where I make a little trick. Remember how I return true if it's okay? Well I come, I go into that div and see okay if it's true it actually succeeded. So I do hear some traversing and I, I find the closest TR and you'll have to change this uh, depending of your of, of your design 
and this is actually the, the parent and then I find the car name and notice that I'm doing I, I'm making references here to the name and the description which are values that are on, are on the partial view uh, those are made uh, basically on on here and here but the reason that I can do this is because at this moment they are on that on that dialog so I basically just setting the values I am closing the dialog and here's how you make that Twitter like message now all of that was if it was true if it was true it meant that it succeeded but if not I just need to show that message and that's what I do and that's everything there there might be some some um, other good implementations of this but this is how I've been doing it and it works pretty well okay to recap make sure you have your your dialogue container make sure you create an event for that edit link where you will uh, load your form into the dialog dynamically it is very important that you rebind the validations so make sure you remember that and uh, don't remember to make your uh, on success handler for the Ajax to for the Ajax form so all of this is gonna be posted on my blog in case you didn't get it from there is ricardocovo.wordpress and here's where you'll find the code and a direct link to the video so I hope this was useful for everyone and let me know if you have any questions or comments about it